So pretty much today what we're going to be doing is bringing everything all together. So yesterday we were working on our linear actuate or linear slides and then we were also working on getting our chassis, or our chassis and framework all put together. We also have made our intake a little smaller which we'll get to in a little bit. So after that, today's just going to mainly be mounting and putting it all together and making the final robot. And tomorrow we'll be working on some fine tuning and making sure that the program's done and ready to run. Okay, so originally we had an arm, uh, our arm was supposed to be here and these two hooks, these are our climbers. So we're using our climbers to get to the second rung. Uh, the arm will grab onto the first and then we'll use the climber to get to the second rung. Um, originally we used an acute angle for our hook, but we switched to a um, 90 degree angle because we realized that the acute angle was actually blocking us from getting onto the second rung. So hopefully with this design, we're able to get onto the second rung. Okay, basically at the beginning we had our motor over here, but a uh, problem that occurred was that our arm, it's coming down over here, but this was in the way over here, so we had to move this uh, motor over here, and this is uh, attached to the spools, and it'll bring this up. So, uh, essentially what we have right now is we have our kind of prototype but uh, one of our finished products so we have our uh, motor mounted onto here so this is what's going to be controlling our actual arm and our arm consists of linear sliders which can help us reach to any height that we want which is a lot more than what we actually required and also a wrist for our actual outtake so the plan for us was to drive up extend and then pull it back and then clip it on and then unhook and then drive out so the good thing about having a wrist is we can extend into the perimeter and then also use the wrist to pivot and line up and get actual samples from here. So, yeah. so basically, uh, as we can do this, since the linear slide can extend, we can extend pretty far. We don't have to continuously drive everywhere to get it. We can extend pretty far, then we can contract back with our... One second. One it's just a bit of work with our hands. Then we can extend, come back, move to our desired location. And then just kind of drop it off, which we don't have a clip on this. Yes. So with this design, it's really modular and flexible for this design. So I think overall, it's coming together really nicely. And yeah, that's just an update on what we've done. <laughs> 